everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. Well, it's more like sitting in a supercharger with John Chow. Uh, I just dropped off Sally from school and right now I'm just giving the car a little charge before I, before I head home. And the title of this video is Buying a Tesla is the Dumbest Thing You Can Do. And the reason I use this title is because uh, it will give me more clicks than buying a car. It's the dumbest thing you can do. And that, that's really what it should be. Not just a Tesla. Buying any expensive car is probably the dumbest thing you can do. Uh, this Tesla Model X, uh, it's, it's a great car, but at $150,000, it's, it's, it's also a bloody expensive car. And I want to share with you a story that I guess kind of relates the power of a decision. Power of decision. Approximately five years ago, I had, an up, I had, I came into some cash. I came to some cash uh, from dividends, from my investments. Uh, this, this pile of dividends, around sixty, I feel like sixty-five thousand dollars of dividend income, and I thought at that, I thought I should spend this money and buy something nice for myself. That's what I thought, you know. Like, and that's what you know. A lot of people do that, you know. You get, you get, you get a chunk of money. First thing you want to do is you don't think about investing it. You think about I'm gonna buy something. Yeah. So that's what I thought. And at at that time, Tesla has just started selling their new Model S. Their their, I guess their first mass-produced electric car. And I thought, that is a really, really cool car. And I thought about actually buying one because, you know, it was just I had enough dividend income to actually buy it. And instead, instead of buying it, what I did I'm doing was uh, I would cut, I bought the company instead. <laughs> so instead of spending the, the money on the uh, Tesla Model S, I spent the money buying Tesla, the company, the stock. And uh, that turned out to be one of the best financial decisions. That turned out to be one of the best financial decisions I ever made, because had I bought the car today, that car would be worth less than fifty thousand dollars. That's what yeah. If you look at, yeah, I checked out the buying and sell for used Model S's. That's what they're selling for uh, less than fifty thousand dollars. So the car would have depreciated, depreciated, you know, go down in value. However, those Tesla stocks today, right now, are worth over six hundred thousand dollars. And actually, at one point a few months ago, when Tesla was going up, it goes up and down every day. But at one point, it was worth eight hundred fifty thousand, and I'm sure it'll, it'll, it'll get back up there again. But you know, so that that's what could happen. Had I bought the car, I'll be I'll be you know fifty thousand dollar depreciating car that's still going down every single day, or six hundred thousand dollars that's still going well up with that goes up and down but trending upward okay. so uh that's really you you you'll be faced with a decision you know when you have fun we, you know, we can you can spend it on toys or you can spend it on assets that i appreciate and while having a nice car is great until you're in a financial position to actually afford these type of toys, don't do it. Don't do it. And the reason so many people are in financial trouble today is because they make bad decisions. Instead of investing the money on assets that appreciate, they end up buying toys and buying stuff they really cannot afford. And as a result, well, just check out the stats. The majority of people making into retirement are broke, dead broke. They, they require some kind of assistance, either from government or family members. And that's really not a great position to be in. Decisions you make today affect greatly your life tomorrow, right? So make good decisions today. Uh, if, you're not in a, if you're not in a financial position to do so, buying a Tesla, buying any expensive car, it's the dumbest thing you can do. Don't be that dumb. John Shelf and JohnShelf.com. Thank you very much for listening. Give me a thumbs up if you like that message. Please like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.